My name is Brian Hernandez, and I am a technical analyst for Medica IT Services and a proud, pr proud member of Gen as a Genesis Works young professional. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone who's here today. Also, I'd like to give a big special shout out to Team Crystal PM. Woo! Without the support of my summer team, I wouldn't be here today. The words I'm about to speak are about real life events, events that I've learned to cope with, events that how I've broken through. First of all, I'd like to start off with a quote. No matter what you've been through, no matter what I've been through, education will get you out the challenges in life. Marcos Nelson Argueta. My uncle Nelson told me this when I was about 11 years old. It has been almost two years since his disappearance from the border of Mexico and the United States. He was an intelligent young man, bright and humble. The year before his disappearance, my uncle graduated from a private university in El Salvador, a third world country. He's still my inspiration. After losing him, my dedication was born. I work every day to follow his footsteps. It's the thought of my uncle which gives me the confidence and dedication to go to college. I want to be just like him. I want to make my family proud because I love him and I wait for his survival and his return. Nobody comes from a perfect home. Families usually have flaws. Well, my family certainly had a few flaws. My father, former MS-18 gangster and hot-headed goon, conceived me with my beautiful mother. They've had a, lo a long love-hate relationship that I've witnessed. Domestic violence was no stranger to my sister and I. We were both so small, yet so aware of what was happening. I can still picture traumatizing events up to this day. Here was where my maturity was born. To cope with such horrible events made me stronger and stronger. I want, to, I, want, I want to have a brighter future than the reality that I was stuck in and to avoid the problems I had experienced. It also gave me a wake-up call. The world is not always perfect. Yet, I always try to make the best of it. Even after all of that, I still love my parents very much, and I am grateful for them for being in my life. When I was little, my family struggled in the US, so my sister and I decided, my sister and my mother decided to move to El Salvador. She was not able to pay the mortgage on our house and thought that moving back to El Salvador would help our financial situation. When we moved to El Salvador, I thought it would be like moving to another state. I had no idea on how notorious the country was for its poverty, violence, and gangs. It was such a radical change. There wasn't any hot water, and it was about 100 degrees Fahrenheit humid every day. There were many, there were many appalling things scattered throughout the city I lived in. It seemed like if it was acceptable to have a poor education, to traffic drugs, and to have people suffer throughout the city. The most difficult obstacle I had to face was getting a decent education. There weren't any textbooks, the com there weren't any computers, and the resources were terrible. Classes were basically in a large baseball dugout with cement and a chalkboard. My life was even harder by, because I was not accepted into my community. I didn't know Spanish at the time, and I really didn't care about school. My excuse was simply, oh, I don't know Spanish. My grades were low and I wasn't using my full potential. Plus, I was getting bullied because I was so Americanized. Kids would pick on me, try to fight me, embarrass me, and embarrass me by making fun of my own language. One day, I decided to make the best of it, I figured. Why waste my time here when I'm going to be here for so long? I also realized how important education was. I began asking my parents, my grandparents, my uncle, and my teachers on how to learn Spanish. 
I started reading, writing, and speaking more. By the end of the school year, I could already read, write, and speak decently. By the end of my second year, I could already do all these things fluently. I'm mentioning this because I know how hard college is going to be. If I, if I have the same attitude and term, determination in college, I know I'll be able to succeed. When I'm in a hard situation in college, I'll view, I'll view it as an obstacle, and I'll do the same thing I did to reclaim my education, just like I did in El Salvador. I'll fight off my struggles and gain a better education by doing the best and using the resources available to me. This is, no, this is why I know I'll succeed in college. My struggles in El Salvador helped shape my decision on what major I want to pursue. Computers have always fascinated me, but never had, did I own a computer until I was in El Salvador, and it wasn't the best computer around. So when I was about 10, I decided to set my goal in life to become someone who worked with computers. I later found out that this was called computer science. When I was younger, absolutely nobody encouraged me to go to college. Not one person ever mentioned the word college to me. Later in life, my uncle Nelson was the one who inspired me to go to college. All I knew about college was that it was after high school and you make a lot more money than minimum wage job. I was very ignorant of the opportunities available to me, but I've learned a lot more about college through AVID, College Possible, Teachers, and most certainly Genesis Works. On my own, I decided that college was right for me and that I needed it to be a goal in my life. This is where my independence was born. One of the hardest courses I've taken wasn't during the advanced classes in my high school. No, it was called, it was when I went through a program called Genesis Works. Their motto, Breakthrough, is exactly what I did in El Salvador, my childhood, and in my time with Genesis Works. A large portion of their curriculum focuses on information technology. I had already had an interest in computers, but this, gave, this program gave me a whole different perspective on the world of technology. Their IT section had us do a college course that was designed for 17 weeks, packed into a short seven weeks. I had to adapt to this new culture, just like in El Salvador. I learned quickly, and then the next thing I knew, I was one of the top scorers in IT in my class. Genesis Works taught me how to break through, and it helped me realize how I've broken throughout my life. I share my experience with everyone today because I can say these things comfortably. I know my past wasn't the brightest, but I do plan on making my future a bright one. Even now, I'm beginning to see progress in overcoming my struggles. I have developed traits like dedication, maturity, and independence while overcoming challenges in El Salvador and at Genesis Works. I know I'll be able to succeed in college and plan on making my future a bright one one that my Uncle Nelson would be proud of. Thank you.